How I make my loops. I've been asked so many times, and so here's a glimpse into what I do. The key is the camera. You have to think about your loop as a regular transition, but the transition has to start from what was at the beginning. So for this one, I need to get the cake back to the ice cream at the beginning. The way that I'm going to do that is decorate it and then take it out and scoop up a ball. So when I pop the first ball down, it looks like the same one. I plan to eventually make a YouTube series explaining how I do them all in great detail. But for now, here's a little example of... This one is for all of our lactose intolerant friends. Today is day 11 and we're making sorbet, specifically raspberry sorbet. We're gonna scoop out our raspberries we need and we're gonna let them thaw out. And then we're gonna get our flavoring. We're gonna pour all that in the machine. And then we pour in our sorbet mix. And then we're gonna scrape out the bladder, make sure we get all of it out. We don't waste anything here as you guys know now. And then we're gonna hit start of the machine. And that's gonna go for about eight to 10 minutes. Once it beeps, we're gonna hit the extract button and open up the hatch and let all of it out. This usually makes about four half pans. Once we've extracted all the sorbet, we're gonna write the name and the date on parchment paper and then tuck them in. And then as you know, they go to sleep in the blast and they get 20.